What's up guys? This is the Roefman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are beginning our attack in southern India and attacking this force currently um, occupying the port because it will be very very useful to secure a secure landing zone uh, for our armies for follow-up attacks against the Mysorean forces and they have significant amount of troops in the area. But first we have to isolate and destroy this mostly cavalry army in the port. So let's do it with the army under the command of Marcio Campos. So we're probably going to want to fairly aggressively reinforce the southern front. Because uh, right now we've got two armies with a half of a stack. Three quarters of a stack, not a true army. An army recruited out of Sri Lanka. So we are likely, once we finish this action, we'll want to make sure we go back to Spain and make sure that whatever armies that we've got that are ready to send ascent and that we can make use of them um, in the most efficient manner. I like this for artillery placement but I don't think yeah no that's a terrible <laughs> position because the guns won't they'll just kill my own men. Um, so let's form let's form a central position with four infantry units per side. I'm gonna put one set of guns in the line one set of guns on the high ground to the rear whose job it will be to have a bit more of a strategic view some very elite troops in this formation here we don't want to advance up to the hill we want to be this side of it until we get the until the we can push past it let's take another create another wing of troops on the right made up of quite a lot of elite troops Line cavalry on the right, cuirassier on the left, well, royal cuirassier guard on the left. Uh, Howitz is firing round shot for now. General in the centre. Because what I want is for my round shot to attack the, um, the enemy cavalry formations. Okay, so they're not. They're not pushing right up to us, so we can make some progress. We're going to want to be quite trigger happy when it comes to getting troops into square. But then let's get my artillery unit on the hill. We go for the Camel Nomads, you men go after that Camel Nomad unit as well. My howitzers... Eh, the only thing they can shoot at are the people inside the um, artillery emplacements, which we're not bothered about. The artillery will be dealt with through musket fire and bayonets. That's what I want to see. Which fortunately my heavy artillery will be able to provide. My howitzers need to advance to become more useful. These guns can lob sh are lobbing shells over the rise. Oh, it's perfect. Camel nomads are broken. Focus the artillery fire on that flank. Camels are nearly ready to charge. So you men run, you men run. Everyone start to run. My line cavalry pivot with fire at will on. But I've got my camels over here. They want to hit my square formation, so I want to make sure everyone's Got their squares ready. My line cavalry was is just willing, is dying for a scrap. Put a volley in. It's dealt with them. Those chaps may actually route from artillery fire. Ah, oh, the muskets actually dealt with them quite nicely. The muskets of my line cavalry. Send my heavy cavalry into the camel mercenaries. Let's 
become quite clear that the uh, enemy haven't yet given up. There we go, then attack that unit of camel nomads. The square is being maintained here. Pikemen are charging. You men pivot to fight the camel nomads. Lots of these forces in the centre have been repelled. Actually, you men attack the camel nomads here, just to make sure they rout. We kill a handful of them, then advance into the camel nomads there. My infantry guards have repelled the pikemen. I don't know who they were shooting at. Oh, the Grenadiers were pursuing a beaten enemy. Newman advance up to the high ground. Aha, not so fast. Advance though, that's for darn sure. If their objective is to push forward to attack us, they're going to find it a strategy severely lacking. My howitzer engaged that unit of horsemen over there in the distance. Same with this unit. These Hindu warriors, I mean, I don't think they're going to last charging this particular piece of line. This Hindu unit very fortunately tied, tried to charge two of my units. So let's fold my flank up, get my line cavalry up. So the Hindu musketeers will probably do a bit of damage. Eh, yeah, some. Not really. I did a bit of a switcheroo with my infantry there. My cuirassier guards advance. These units pivot. Well, they'll advance to attack the two fangy to make sure they collapse. These men stay in square to draw in the mercenaries. You men fire it well off because I think you've probably killed a bunch of your own men. All of my artillery attack the general's bodyguard. Yeah, the Zimindari horsemen have collapsed as well. Howitzers attack the general as well. Push my right flank up aggressively. I mean, that unit of pikemen is not going to stand when the volley goes off. <laughs> there they go. Artillery advance. Horsemen are going down. Horsemen have gone down. Send an infantry unit. Oh no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Success! So that's that Mysore force dealt with. We don't want to get too cocky, because that's knocked them down significantly. They only have 300 men remaining. Port secured. March these men up for support. I mean, we could. There's a possibility here to get quite badly mobbed. That's why Ceylon, you need to keep churning out infantry to send across the strait. So you've taken a Medabad. You're about to attack a Daipur. You men get to the bridge. Mr. Azara, you're replenishing, but you're also seeking two replacement infantry units. These men are zooming down to the front as fast as the, the road can bring them. You've taken Srinagar, you're advancing up to the front. You are going to attack City of Lahore and take it for our forces, because that will actually knock out one more um, faction on the end turn phase. You actually... 
it's probably a good idea to take. You have to worry about movement points. This navy can sail to Surat. Could potentially use it to do some offensive action, but I don't actually want it to do anything offensive. What ship's that? It's a sixth rate. So it's here, let's recruit a sloop. Mass our fifth rates together. We can start to do some work against the enemy, but I oh, sorry, I got I got a I got uh, distracted there somewhat. Let's make sure Felix, your army, which well, you can probably uh, can't quite leave Srinagar in one turn. But yes, let's attack Lahore. The city's undefended. Um, in term, well, undefended in terms of fortifications. We can march in and secure the city. They got a large Sikh contingent here, so we need to be a bit careful because they're not that bad, and Sikh warriors are surprisingly effective. So uh, do not want to get caught out advancing into the centre of town too aggressively and then only to have my army get chopped into pieces. Um, especially as we've got Mughal troops on the horizon. There is a chance, a real chance, that that southern offensive may get surrounded and destroyed. Oh no... Already my sound's gone because of the rain. You men make ready. Let's take four units here. Let's get some of our artillery out oh, here to the rear. I mean I am gonna I am going to attack because whenever well, I might just put all my artillery up here. Whenever my sound goes, I just want to attack just to get it, just to get the battle over with. I really dislike it when my sound doesn't work. Let's form up. Cavalry on the right flank, general in the centre. Pikes on the left, skirmishers stay back. It's a large contingent. Oh, and howitzers. Always forget my howitzers. Bring them up to the front line, take my infantry. Advance them up. The main challenge for the enemy is this raised terrain. So let's put my pikes, bring my pikes up. They aren't charging. My general joined them. There's a unit of horsemen advancing, but that's okay. If they desire if they decide to um, attack us with melee then that's something we can we can deal with that but if it looks like they want to just advance and form um, they want to get into get into a hand-to-hand -hand combat action then my men can quite competently deploy square our line is up is up <laughs> up and ready so we're starting to see the volleys going off. The camel mercenaries are caught out because my men are attacking infantry and we're seeing the volley fire being chosen. Okay, you on the flank form square. The men here, you guys can now advance. You men push up, push my cavalry up. The lines have been met, the lines have been hit, which is a potentially bad outcome. But if the, if, the, if you get units like these Hindu warriors fall back, fairly easy. Get my pikes to push the flank, you men roll up the flanks. My general is going to really help here. My Cairo infantry guard get to work on the Sikh warriors. All of my artillery, well, is, they are attacking the rear. Tercio pikemen are clearing out the camel nomads. Get my cavalry to really smash the enemy here as well. Get my cavalry to smash the Sikh musketeers. Send up a unit in reinforcements. 
Then on this flank, my pikemen. Are doing okay. My Grenaderos de Marina are doing okay, but they're being attacked. You men are attacking the Firelock Arm Populous block. You men attack that Dervish block. You men push up. You men push up. Okay, you guys form up and engage the Sikh Musketeers. Garrison Hindu warrior units coming back. You men are chewing up the Sikh warriors. You men push up. Royal Kyrie Infantry Guards are doing some good work. You men attack that unit because you're getting shot to pieces. Give them some backup. This, These guys roll on onto this central action. Pikemen push on into the Sikh warriors with my Regimento de Soria. These two units attack the Sikh musketeers here. Who's back here then defending the guns? The general. All my artillery attack the general's bodyguard. You men have nearly knocked out the Sikh warriors. And there we go. These two units that are in quite good shape advance towards the guns. It's looking like the enemy melee attack, which looked very impressive, has actually stalled completely. So my cuirassier push. All my artillery focus on the general in the distance. Although it looks like they're not paying attention to me as far as artillery goes. My cuirassier will have better luck. Cease fire with all the artillery. You men push on and attack the guns yourselves. My cuirassier should hopefully knock out the general's bodyguard. And down he goes. My infantry will mop up the gunners. So ends the Brief Kingdom of Punjab. Do not run too far back because they've got a couple of odd spike units. Or spike defences. But there we go. So what would otherwise be a very impressive melee attack was thwarted by counter melee. It just goes to show the the issue with melee troops is you can't really can't bank on them late game because standard infantry bog standard infantry starts to become enough good so let's bring my agent here push him up to akbarabad get some visibility on what's going on behind the lines for the mughal empire you're going to push on and take a diaper when you're ready this guy is a bit annoying, but not a lot we can really do about him. Elsewhere in the Americas, yeah, Denmark and the Cherokee, yeah, we're waiting. Waiting to get this guy in position to prevent a breakout west, although to be honest it's probably not the end of the world if that happens. Because we want Rafael Rodriguez... He'll be to the oh okay. He'll be to the south, ready to advance north. When that happens, in terms of tech, Kasur, uh, yeah, we can demolish you because that's not necessary. Okay, nation destroyed, Punjab. Let's upgrade the farming states here and hit end turn. As more armies run down to the new front line. Oh, I forgot to down. I forgot to move um, armies over from India. I'm sure it won't be a, not India, Spain. I'm sure it won't be a massive problem. I mean, we do have two ready to go. Could have been instrumental, but it remains to be seen how the 
AI will respond to my attacks in southern India. Sending their agents through my lands in an attempt to try and steal my technologies and it's not going to work. We will pull back towards Mysore. Um, I'm probably going to auto that. Decent chunk of men to kill. There. Yes, they're gathering their strength. They're going to go raid and break down a load of things. Okay, so this... This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> but that's a load of dervishes. But it should be fun, nevertheless. Um, our reinforcing army is not the strongest. But it's still pretty good. So let's make it so mo it's mostly infantry coming in to help us off the bat rather than my general but let's do this we're gonna have to hold our ground and defend but fortunately lots of these waves are actually dervishes so it might not be that terrible let's do it and as per usual the issue is well not the issue the the golden goose or the golden egg i suppose it's the it's the, the goose that lays the egg is that if we win, then all of the Mysore forces push back and fall away. And that would be quite handy. Well, it would be exceptionally handy if I had if I had sent some troops to uh, sail across to India to take advantage of it, but oh well. Let's see. So, form a defensive perimeter so you're in the line let's put another unit in the line with four infantry units on either flank good Oh, these are heavy horse howitzers. Oh, this is perfect. Got on, Christian. We got one twelve pounder who will probably go back here, lobbing round shot at range. My cuirassier are going to be my hail mary troops. My hussars, I want tr to try and um, I want to try and save for the enemy artillery. So I'm going to let my howitzers fire round shot for now. My artillery can engage their guns for now. So this unit try hit the horsemen, that unit can try hit the dervishes. Yeah, this artillery Accuracy 62. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Then all my actual foot artillery focus on the 12 pounders. Oh, especially with this cavalry nearby. Some good secondary effects. My howitzers are firing again. Okay, so this unit hit the camels. That unit focus on the dervishes. Twelve pound of foot artillery focus on the camels as they're walking in. It's the gun team at the back here. I want them focusing on the guns. And as they get within range, it's going to be quick climb time. I hope they didn't forget. They, it was them that attacked me. I doubt they'll be able to fire a canister shot at them. But they're marching across our line so at the very least we will 
gain some visibility on where the reinforcements are coming in from. So yeah, you continue to attack the guns to the rear, everyone else. It's quick lime time, baby. <laughs> Fire canister shot at the horsemen. Although they're likely to fall to the same fate of just simply routing because they are running across my front and they're shattered. Are those reinforcements? No, they're just hiding. It's another gun team. Okay, so quick lime time. Pick a unit, make it route, start again. Got camels on the flank. And they might only have Hussars on this flank, but they'll be enough. Backed up by Grenadiers. Just reload. It's a unit of Camel Mercenaries routed. They've been reduced to eight men. Good quick lime hits there. Okay, you can pivot, you can spread out just a bit more to get some more guns firing. There we go, the 12 pounders. Blast them with canister shot. Wavering, quick climb coming in again. Yep. Good stuff. My artillery folks on the 108th. You guys are going to chew up the 111th. Yeah, my grenadiers and engineers. Side by side. Howitz's folks on the mercenaries as the as the melee troops prove themselves to be unreliable at getting towards my lines. Go on, regiment of foot. Reload. Now they're starting to engage the camel mercenaries instead. Dervishes have been broken. Curacier, knock them out a little bit. We're starting to see more gun teams in the distance from all the different reinforcing armies coming in. Dervishes are coming in. There we go. Keep the cuirassier a bit busy. Just killing a handful more of these dervishes, hopefully looking to try and shatter them. But I don't think they're going to let us get away with that quite so easy. Okay, they're not far from the edge of the battle space, so they're going to rout. Keep canister shot firing at the enemy, and then we can start to see the reinforcements coming in. It's a nice mix of men here. Oh, good quick lime hit. That'll be the end of the sixth. And there go the seventh. Oh, they did come back. Go get him, Curassier. This regiment of line will scare away the 109th. There we go. My Curassier will deal with the 106th well enough. Your dervishes aren't bad, but they're just not... 
They're not late game units, they're a bit squidgy. They go down a bit too easy in combat. Enemy general's been killed from my howitzer fire. And gunner's still engaging the rogue units. This gun team engaged the that 12 pounder. This gun team switched to round shot and engage that gun as well. How it's fire round shot. So this unit focus on that general's bodyguard coming in. This gun team switched to round shot focus on these camel gunners. Might make that 12 pounder route. They're wavering. There they go. Switch to canister shot. By the time you reloaded, they'll be prime target. Okay, so this gunner. Focus on that 12 pounder. You focus on. some unit. <laughs> you attack the 12 pounder on the right flank as well. The howitzer fire is causing this general's bodyguard some level of upset. But here comes the reinforcements. So let them come, let them join the field. Those two units both focus on that 12 pounder. General's bodyguard's coming in. If he doesn't rout, how the he'll be, he's gonna get killed. Oh, he's killed. So then you focus on that general's bodyguard unit to the rear. You guys blast the camel gunners. Good hits, good hits. Yeah, they've got off their volley. They can leave without a stain on their character. Cast a shot. Second duck heel. Still picking away at that 12 pounder. You focus on that unit of General's Bodyguard. Just because it will be useful for the um, morale bonuses we get from killing the enemy general. That will be quite useful. I mean, there's prime hussar territory to run forward and kill them. Camel gunners are shat. Uh, they were unhappy. Lost. That's their third general fallen. Okay, mop up that mercenary unit because they're taking a bit too long trying to wipe it out. It's a great hit. Horsemen are going down. Got lots of cavalry coming in, so you need to be careful with our howitzers. New men might form a. put down um, stakes. Let's reform the line. The gun's on the move, so that should be your job. Quick climbs coming in. Fire it will off. Stakes placed. Actually, you can fire on the flank. Then, as the engineer unit reforms, then you should gain. We should be able to fire at will at the two man.
you can fire at will as well. Get my crossier out wide. Lots of cavalry pushing in. So they're going to pick up my troops and do a bit of damage here and there. Another general's fallen. Blast that Zemandari horseman unit. You go for that camel mercenary unit. You go for that horseman unit. You men blast that unit right in front of you. You switch to round shot and begin to attack. Some good hits. Blast them! Throw my heavy cavalry in to knock out that unit of mercenaries. Got some charges. They're wavering. And they're broken. Change my artillery targets, because we might get some into some trouble here. Nope, fortunately that's an in mass cavalry route. Good stuff. You men charge the mercenaries, then go on against the camel mercenaries there. Okay, they've routed. Get my cavalry back. Yeah, this two man is returning. Camels are wavering, they've broken as well. That howitzer unit, switch to round shot, attack the general's bodyguard. Same with you. Oh. Oh. Deliberately not try and try not to use my right flank as much as I possibly could. Okay, I think you guys might be slightly bugged. Have, can you knock out that 12 pounder? I think they're getting more aware of the power of my artillery. The center of my line is getting whittled away. But it's got enough staying power. There we go, they're focusing their skirmish fire against my gunners. Who shrugged it off. Those units coming in, they are coming in. So you guys probably don't have the range to deal with those gunners. You do not, although you can quick climb these guns. We're going to attack ground just short. The other unit is going to attack this unit of camel mercenaries. Okay, this gun team attacking unit of camels. They're charging someone. They're charging my right flank. Yeah, they're bringing in their guns. There we go. Through attack grounding, we've knocked them down to two crewmen, and the unit is dead. Engage the camel nomads. They're really not happy. Still bringing the dervishes in on this force here. That would be nice to knock them out. But by positioning themselves so far back, they are also limiting what they can do. And I am now tempted to begin advancing my right flank, including my hussars. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> conclusively gunned down that camel unit. Go on, just step forward a little bit further. There we go. Mercenaries coming in. Yet more dervishes on the flank. Good hits. Actually, go for that unit. The more strength we can take out of the enemy with artillery fire, the less we have to worry about our own ammunition supply. Although no one's dangerously low yet. Because lots of these units are actually just... Although, to be honest, you can probably stand to just run. Because you're a bit bugged. Maybe make you guys deploy like so. Just so they don't get any ideas about deploying straight into you. Actually, keep the fire split. Lots of dervishes. They're all storming our way. Can't afford to do anything else. It's the power of the melee infantry unit. My SRs. I want them to hide, really. There we go. My right flank that's not seen too much action is now going to get involved. Twenty-nine foot guards. Letting their volleys be felt. Still more dervishes coming in. Switch my cav- oh my, my artillery is already on canister. Oh good hit! Right in front of my line. That's definitely them done for, yeah, shattered. My SRs aren't- well they are, they were hidden, but I got a feeling they still kind of knew where they were. There's my... There's my Hussars. Let's get him involved. Let's start sniping some artillery. Hey, they made it to my line. You can't do that. You definitely don't want to start. I mean, I'm already shooting some of my own guys. Okay, cavalry. Get up here. You guys don't have guns, so I can just run around you. These men can push up. Haha, <laughs> charge me if you like. You have to catch me first. Crossier have killed that dervish unit. You men form up. All this delicious artillery that's left unguarded. See, there's one dervish unit that's just desperately trying to chase me down. We can knock out all of these guns. That's five units. Now, you men run. I don't know whether they'll probably... Okay, no. Don't run in front of my musket line to run away, you fools. Okay, there's hit mercenaries coming in. That could scupper our plans. It depends how long it takes them to get onto the field. There's another unit of dervishes coming in. Camel gunners. Come on. You got this, you men. Now you're. S 
Okay, just run. Hussar crews... Well, Hussars have nearly got the last 12-pounder. Good. Charge on into that 12-pounder. And then it's back home for tea and medals. This unit's running in a kind of okay direction. Oh, and it's very nice of them to have limbered up as well. That makes the destruction of their units all the easier. There we go, and I'll go after that 12-pounder. Good. Book it! Book it! Don't stay and fight. Hello! The Moogles are coming in to help. They must be desperate. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Engage that camel gunner unit. There we go. My hussars, they're tired, but they've done a fantastic job and knocked out the bulk of the enemy artillery. Hello, there's more troops coming in on the right flank. Very well. Pull my right flank back, just stop any surprises. Grenadiers got hit by dervishes. Still more dervishes. Go back to hucking quicklime, chaps. That should have been a good hit. Yes, it is a good hit. Very good hit. Camels are routing. Dervishes are wavering. God, they're still coming. Okay. okay you, you men need to get into position and about face. Because you've got a 23 camels coming your way. Brave souls. push in with so few men but the 28th Grenadiers will see them off form square damn it okay so here's another block of troops getting into position so this unit ew, because I've got so you and you. Now I've lost that left-hand gun team. Okay, you guys can't route for Toffee. Get out of the way. Fold my flanks in. This is now my main defensive position. When my... Those Grenadiers could probably stand to rout as well. You men are just going to keep an eye on my guns as they get out of position. Can't really afford to go too far... Go on, line infantry, turn around. Pour volleys into the enemy. E men focus on that unit. Howitzers focus on the left. Ah, that's why you guys didn't aren't spread as deep as I would have imagined. Doesn't mean the dervish is going to get get a charge off, but that's okay. You men cease fire. Grenadiers might be able enough be enough to see off those camels. Okay, so now you guys are out of the way. Run backwards. Okay, 
So you men play stakes while these guys get into position. Artillery attack the bowmen. General's lost a man. Hey, you're routing, that's fine. You're routing. These guys could stand to route soon. Ground is form square, because I don't this isn't gonna work. Well, it might work. They've been caught out, but there's all these stakes, and there's more stakes on the horizon. <laughs> might work. Push my cavalry up. Artillery engage. The 14th coming in, pick new how to targets. Focus on the dervishes coming in. Get out of square, see if we can lure the camels to come in, which it looks like we can. It looks like they're going to hit our squares quite nicely, our stakes quite nicely. You are the wrong side of them. Although, they should. There we go, at some point they were going to turn left. Okay, this gonna focus on dervishes. Okay, troops coming in from the left flank. That's interesting. Let's run these guys over towards the centre, because that's where the bulk of our strength needs to be. Those dervishes are going to get killed without the need for my cavalry. Green is form square. No, line up. Ah, oh, line cavalry coming in as well. That's pretty handy. Pick new quick loan targets because they're still they're still coming in. Although it looks like it's only just from the left now, so they should start to thin out quite nicely. Hey, the AI actually made a decent attack. Get my gunners to run. So. That unit fall back because you run out of ammo. You're about to run out of ammo. Gunners, pick up your guns. Push on my line cavalry fire, it will. Off. <laughs> Still trying in. Okay, you men combine with the engineers to fill up a gap here. You've not got too many volleys left in you, but keep picking new targets. It shouldn't really matter. Blast the 130th with canister shot. Although you looks like you guys might be bugged, so you guys run. Point blank. Ah. Oh. Spikes don't matter to the dervishes, oh god. Oh, I infantry attack the dervishes, defend your position. Defend your colours. Now the guns have gone, we can form up a bit more. So those units that have fallen back can route route. Yeah, 
still coming. Fortunately, though, for the most part, our howitzers can begin to clear them out. So you're good, you're good, you are good for now. Everyone else is... They're running out. Now I've got more Moogle troops coming in for re as reinforcements. Including a Moogle general, no less. Keep the cavalry back. Grenadiers. They can also run. I mean, back that way might be the technically the closest side for you. Keep folding back, but keep relying on artillery to do most of the heavy lifting. That's kind of the point. And look at all these dead bodies to show for it. So who's that coming in now? 16th Regiment Grenadier Guards. They need to get over onto the left flank, really. Because lots of these units are uh, running out of ammo. So much so. Let's throw more of our cavalry in than we currently have been doing. Pick new hearts targets to try and prevent fratricide. Eh, line cavalry can just shoot. Actually, they've got a good amount of ammunition. Curacier Guard, that's quite useful. Have you men got a volley to fire off? Withdraw. There we go. This unit of dervishes has been almost entirely wiped out. One last infantryman. Good. You guys switch to round shot. Try to take out that general. Full, is this a full Moogle stack coming in now? Oh, grenadiers, yeah, route. You men charge forward and attack the 138th. Re-target the enemy while we can. Infantry push up to the line. You men smack the 138th. They've been knocked out. If they come after us, we should be. My okay, my Royal, Curassi my Royal Curassier Guard. You chase down the horsemen, send my line cavalry to skirmish away their camel gunners. You men pivot inward to face the bulk of the actual threat. You men fire it will on. These grenadiers are almost out of ammo. Line cavalry. Attack the camel gunners. 
cavalry is deploying on the flanks. Let's fall back to our defensive line. Camels get back, cavalry get back. New men form square. New men run into the right position, then run. Cuirassier, attack the camel gunners because you're wavering. Hopefully that brings you back. It does. Hopefully it breaks the camels as well. And it has. Pick new targets. Cavalry's coming after us on the flank. I'm hoping some of them at least will die to the stakes. New men fire. Okay. Engineers have run out of firepower. These two units form up. You men are going to lose a bunch of your chaps to stakes. Okay. Does anyone else run out of ammo? Everyone looks... I was about to say pretty good. That's not quite the right words, but... You men form up. Okay, I think... Okay, we've got a handle on this. <laughs> As the enemy continues to bring in more troops. But this should be the last Mughal stack at least, so that should be something. These men are going to be firing firing at will. Engage the Sikh warriors as they come in. You guys keep quick climbing the horsemen there. So you've killed those lancers. Might be able to... We could chase down that last one, but we're not going to. So these units can fire it will on. Poor fire against the horsemen here. Yeah, they have also collapsed. Yeah, they're just pouring them in. Can't do any counter battery work, sadly. Yeah, you men run. But we can at least recover. They're almost in quick climb range. Yeah, they're going to keep pouring troops in, but they must run out fairly soon. Because we've already repelled quite a lot of Mughal troops. But once the 27th joins the field, then we'll know. Now it's camels coming in. Yeah, the 3rd Regiment may not actually stick around for as long as you would think. The generals, well, the generals retreated because our volleys were. No, oh no, they lost a few, um, lost a few elephants here, trying to attack our line. Let's hope we can route them fairly quick. They are sticking around fairly resiliently, though. They're only down to sixty men, and they're still here. Swiss line infantry run over towards the middle. So a couple of units like this one that may well rout. Okay, you men go after that unit of dervishes. Okay, we've got to keep an eye out now because we could be nearing the end of this onslaught. The German's bodyguard, when they rout, speed up a bit. Okay, that's it. This is the last 
bastion of Mughal troops on the front. So let's let them know we have no fear. These Sikh warriors that are standing up to us. My artillery at the back engage the camel gunners. Well, they've broken into a run. Poor souls. Poor souls indeed. Oh no. Pathfinding's gone a bit funny. They want to go after some one of these units or my cavalry instead, but it's too late. The damage is done. It does look like that is it. Oh, that unit of infantry's got a lot, a lot of damage done to it. Sp spare some chaps to attack on the left. Camel gunners are moving in. Where's my line cavalry? Because they can do some good damage as well. You fired your volley. That's enough. <laughs> that artillery is enough. Okay, we've got a unit of Kizilbashi cavalry to the rear. Skirmish cavalry. Let's follow the flank of our line in. Let's advance our cavalry up towards their cavalry. Get ready to deliver some counter-attacks. Let's push you guys up quite aggressively, actually. Probably going to run out of ammunition with a few of these units. Well, like you, you're going to run out of ammo. Those units have collapsed. So let's take our uh, line cavalry, fire it will off, send them at those guns. Push out my cavalry, switch my all mail to to attack that last unit of Kizilbashi. Deploy my cavalry force. She ceased for artillery fire completely. Deploy my cavalry to attack. Artillery cease fire. Let's watch the watch the mess commence. Oh put a nice volley into my cavalry. My line cavalry is going to mop up those gunners though. All this cavalry is going to charge into the rear of the Kizilbashi. There we go. Good stuff. This two man. You know, that's a 45 minute battle nearly. Yeesh. And I am going to send my cavalry to go attack the remnants of these forces. We're not going to focus on um, chasing down their cavalry because there's no point. The cavalry is more than is, is fine to escape. chase down their infantry here. Just because it's a Mughal stack, we may as well take the opportunity we've got to make sure that they are destroyed. Ok, 
keep on attacking. That units, these units are probably going to escape. But that's okay. Do as much damage as we can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, they lost 11,000 men. We lost 1,000. That's right, you chaps. Back you go. They'll be back. We need to make sure we send, send them some aid. The Mysore demands peace or wants peace. And they're not going to get it. The Cherokee know the hammer fall. The hammer blow is about to land. So I'm hoping on the left I see something like a fleet has arrived. New port emerges. Nuts. I, didn't, I was counting on having some units um, in position. Yeah, I had an army here that I could have sent. Send them across. So let's sort that out now. So I don't forget again. This floor, this force embark. Sail across. Mr. Guerrero, his force, he's actually got some good units there. He's got some cazadors and some rockets. Good stuff. I don't th isn't it, who, are you completed? No, you need. You're looking for um, two guns, which is these guns right here. So then you're ready. So you're ready. So this force is actually two pairs. Oh, this is going to get a bit nightmarish. Regiment of Spanish Hussars, we're going to get one of those because those are new. Dawn of Guerrilla Commander. Mounted Guerrilla. The Lancers. Why not? But I would like a Guardia Decor and a unit of Curacia Guard to back them up. Get two heavy howitzer units. Let's get a rocket troop. Let's get two units of guns. So that's nine units recruited here. So you have space for two more units, and that's going to be two units of infantry. Fonzi, that's going to be your army done. So Bernardo Calabar. You are going to recruit some local artillery. Okay, three units of twelves. Get one Curassier guard, because then we're about to run out. Let's get a Curassier unit. Let's get a unit of Hussars. And then two skirmishers. Corso Terrestre. And a Navarra's Corso Terrestre. Well, that's probably one unit too many, because I think you've got, a, you've got 12. Okay. Pull two units of infantry out. You're also making your way down to Spain. Good. Raimundo de Cajuna, you're still replenishing the forces in Malta under Mr. Demacado. Can you leave Malta? Minus four. Technically, no. Cazador. No, you could stay there for a while. So you're waiting to cross. You aren't needed to cross. Mr. Galve, so you will embark aboard the brig. Actually, Mr. Ramon. Whoa. Nah, go over to India. I see a port upgrade. Boom. Let me make sure this guy hits the trade zone. Hits this, um... Yeah, hits the trade zone and then transports. Good. Okay, India. So down here, we have an army here that's in good condition. 
has artillery, but if it pushes to attack our cart... Okay, it brings in some reinforcements, but we can... Well, let's siege them. Let's force them to come at us, if that's what they want to do. Because then you can pull back to here, upgrade some military buildings, pick up these troops, shuffle them across to Pondicherry, and embark them. I mean, this is going to be a really boring army. Uh, elsewhere, so you men replenish, upgrade, let's get a tea plantation built. Your troops here ready, you might it's about to fall back but you don't really need to because you've got these two armies advancing up you could maybe push on and take Eugene with no garrison we can take the settlement and you can replenish in luxury you can stay here to occupy or protect the plantation there here at Lahore. You drive south and mop up that remnant. There we go. Mr. Roig. Same here. Felix, take your army out of Srinagar. Minus one. They're okay with it. Mit Shaysta Abdullah. So you men can replenish and head towards Lahore. Get better roads, upgrades across the board. Make sure you're still replenishing. Get our agents into Akbarabad. I see rebels. Good stuff. Rebels are good. That means they're running into trouble. Mr. Kiroga, continue to push. New port emerges. Helsingfors in Finland. There we go. Uh, okay, so we're probably going to leave off. It's going to take Mr. Card now. He's going to attack Udaipur. But looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the city of Udaipur. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>